swooshes I would wear with this one. I think if I want to have a like a monochromatic look, I would pair it with blush sandals, which are like very close to the color of the fabric. And at the same time, they blend in with my skin color. So when I'm wearing it from far, you don't necessarily see, um, you know, where my skin ends and where the sandal starts. And the nice thing about this type of uh, Madden Girl shoes from Steve Madden, uh, they are actually platform uh, sandals that are super comfortable. So when I wear these, I can easily wear them for seven, eight hours. I mean, not easily. I can wear them for seven, eight hours. Mm -hmm. no, no, but I'll be honest about. with you, it's not easy, but it's easier than other types of shoes. And with, without the platform, when you try correct. to wear it without seven, eight hours, uh, it's painful. This is it's extremely so painful. painful, extremely painful. And this will give me like a lot of height, you know, mm -hmm. additional height. Mm -hmm. And with the platform, it's like you're subtracting this much of the platform from the heel, and then you're left with this, this much of the heel. Mm -hmm. So it's like as if you're wearing this much of the heel and then this is giving you support. This is giving you also support. So it doesn't feel as tiring to wear mm -hmm. this type of shoes. So if I want to have a monochromatic look, I would pair these with this type of uh, fabric or with this type of color. Um, they're kind of similar, you know, and they make you also, they make your legs look taller because they blend in with your skin color. And you never almost go wrong with blush sandals or blush shoes because it's like a seamless transition right. from your skin to the shoes. It's, it's like, also like an evergreen neutral too. Correct, you know? correct. In it's addition like, to your blacks and whites, yeah. blush is also a nice yeah. neutral. Yeah, it's like always, it feels like always trendy. Mm -hmm. It's never like, oh, this is out of style or you mm -hmm. can't wear this color, it's too much. No, it's like neutral. Um, it's a nude color, so mm -hmm. it goes all the time. And then if I want to really dress it up like all the way, like the style that Kim has for herself. Kind of like a wild touch, that little wild touch for like a lighter. Like a lighter. the fuchsia. Just go all out on the shoes. Just have like a simple dress, but you kind of like really have some wild looking shoes. Correct. And depending on, depending on the accessories, the metallic accessories that I would use, um, if I feel more like, I feel like with this color, because it's not very bright, I would use gold. So when something is not too bright, I would use gold. I feel like it's better than silver because I feel like silver is more for already very vivid bright colors. Mm -hmm. Like for example, with neon yellow or neon pink or neon um, red or whatever, whatever neon color, I feel like if you pair it with silver, it so matches, it's so mm -hmm. good. Because it's cooling, it has a cooling factor too. Correct, it, that's why. I agree with you. But with like very soft, nice, subtle colors, mm -hmm. I feel like we need something bold, which is more like gold. So I would wear gold accessories with it. Mm -hmm. And I would pair it with these Badly Meshka shoes. Oh, they're so pretty. Thank you. So these shoes are sheer on the sides, so you can see through them. And then here we have a lot of rhinestones, and we have a lot of rhinestones at the tip of the pumps. It's so pretty. It's funny how we both thought pumps, like bedazzled yeah. pumps, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> we have similar tastes in fashion. So this is for the pumps for this look. And for the ink dress, I could either wear our stiletto sandals. Um, they're actually, they have like a few bands and they give you more of an elongated leg look. And at the same time, they're comfortable to wear, they're comfortable to dance and to walk in, uh, but they're not as comfortable to wear for a very long time just because they don't have a platform. So not much support and the very thin heel mm -hmm. is not gonna give you as much support to your legs. So there's more pressure on the ball of the foot. Speaking of which, the particular shoes I have for this one, I'll send them to you. They're very beautiful, but they are a stiletto heel with no platform. Oh, and so. it's like <laughs> almost like almost five inches. It's like four and three quarters, no platform, but they're gorgeous. So I'm gonna be suffering, but it's okay because it's like perfect for it. Yes. So we, we have to sacrifice. Right. Right. I might. You might see Zayna like holding me <laughs> throughout the event. Like it's okay. 
but um, so that's what I have for this one right here because I feel that that thin stiletto kind of gives that feeling of danger. Yes. And that's kind of the feeling I want to give for this particular look. So uh, if you're smarter than us and you don't want to be dangerous, then you know use a thicker um, a thicker heel or a thicker platform. Sounds good. For the ink dress, I have different options. I would wear like the leopard print and it's a uh, patent leather leopard print and I really like these shoes because they can really give some like life to the dress, life to the look but at the same time they're not too crazy to the point that you would have to be restricted with the kind of accessories you would pair with the dress. They're trendy right now, very trendy but at the same time it takes a certain type of people uh, who really like animal print to wear this type of pumps. Uh, I personally love animal print and I love this type of pumps. The only thing about them, for me personally, it's not very comfortable to wear pumps because I have very small feet. They tend to ride all the way to the front of the shoes and then they make my toes hurt a little bit. And I have tiny, tiny feet, like 4.5 or 5, sometimes 4. It's so easy for them to come out of the shoes. So it's more work for me. I always prefer shoes that have straps that wrap around my ankle that will hold my feet in place and that will give me more support. You can also wear this type of pumps. It's also patent leather and it's very daring red color. So I really like these shoes. They're actually more comfortable than my leopard shoes. Uh, for some reason, they fit me better, maybe because they have a round, more of a round toe, like not necessarily very pointy toe. So uh, they give me better support and they have a more comfortable platform. So this gives me more support and it's more comfortable to wear these rather than my leopard uh, pumps. I wanted to talk to Zaina about hair and makeup because she's very good at it. Um, I'm not at all. Never have you been. You are. You are. I'm but, sure you uh, are. No, I'm not. But thank you. I'm, <laughs> I'm not being modest. It's, I'm serious. I apply makeup on and I end up looking like a joker. But, um, so, but Zaina's really good about that. So I wanted to kind of ask her her um, ideas on each one. Because I have an idea, but I kind of want to run it by her first. So for ink, I was thinking maybe like... Um, Maybe like a bold kajal line or something like that would be kind of cool. Like a bold eyeliner? Yeah, like, like a bold cat eyeliner. eye. Like maybe a cat eye, like a simple yeah, cat, cat eye. eye. And maybe like red, red lips or a deep red. This is exactly it. how I pictured the makeup. Okay. Like a very bold red lipstick mm -hmm. with very bold eyeliner. Okay. Like yeah. a long winged liner. Yeah. I like think. like what I'm wearing today or even bolder than that. Mm -hmm. I don't imagine it to be really subtle because there should be something bold that should be done with this look, in my opinion, mm -hmm. because it's simple, beautiful, classic, but at the same time, it needs something that pops. Mm -hmm. It needs something sharp too, right? Yes. And I was even going to ask you too, like, what do you think about a touch of silver or something? So I've seen yeah. this look of where they do almost like two eyeliners. Yes. They have, like a, they have the thicker one, which is usually black, and then they do like a line of a metallic over it. Yes. So I, I think this would be beautiful. If you're accessorizing the dress with silver color accessories or mm -hmm. shoes, then of course we would apply the the silver glitter. Mm -hmm. And if you're, if you're accessorizing it with gold tone, uh, accessories and shoes then of course we with would gold. use the gold okay but i think with this look we can easily go with a uh, silver because it's not a dull soft color it's more of a very vivid uh opaque dark color uh, so we can easily use silver with it and i think silver would go better i think so too so that was my idea so i'm okay. good we were on the same page there so help me out with this one right here because I feel like she should have kind of more like a neutral, like a warm kind of eyeshadow because I feel since the dress is so bright. But what do you think? I would pair this one with nude, a nude makeup. And okay. when I say nude makeup, I don't mean necessarily like no makeup makeup mm -hmm. or like very subtle makeup. It doesn't have to be subtle, but more like nude colors, mm -hmm. like light brown, darker brown and in the crease. Uh, under the eyes, I would definitely add the same shadows that I have on the lid mm -hmm. and something more like a lighter brown on the corner of the eye and then 
darker brown on the outer corner of the eye. Okay. And something where I can use eyeshadows, just a very subtle liner that will accentuate the lashes, mm -hmm. but nothing too dramatic with a eyeliner. So like a simple earth tones. Correct. Like earth, earth tones. tones. Yes, okay. exactly. This is what I meant. And uh, some nice lashes, but not dramatic lashes that will cover the eyes. Something that will give, uh, that will accentuate the beauty of the eyes, but not something overpowering. I think so too. Cause... And for the lips, yes, please. Uh... I was I was just going to agree with you because I feel that since the dress is already very bold, it needs to have a more simpler makeup just so it doesn't compete with the dress. Correct. And the warm tones will um, go really good and pick up the tones within the dress already. I agree. And then uh, <laughs> you can definitely add on the tear duct some gold glitter or gold shimmer eyeshadow to just make the eyes pop and look more awakened. Um, but at the same time, uh, you can keep it really simple. And for this dress, you can either wear like sheer red lipstick, almost like giving life to mm -hmm. the lips, but not the very dark opaque ones. 